near East Loop 820. He certainly is wincing in pain there. <laughs> the man got his finger stuck, called for help. Several Fort Worth firefighters and paramedics came from MedStar. They eventually freed that man's finger. He was not hurt is hurt in the process. Now, the family of a Korean War veteran is telling its story medical only to the CBS 11 I team. CBS 11 has been investigating the medical treatment of our veterans for months now. This man's daughter say they blame the Dallas VA hospital for his eventual death. I team investigator Maria Villarreal joins us now with his story. Well, you know, Tracy, initially doctors thought that this man had cancer in the throat somewhere in the area, but they weren't exactly sure where. They removed his tonsils, but that was not the source of the cancer. So they went back in to remove his thyroid. It was a surgery his daughter say destroyed his life. Oh, my God. Yeah. I've never seen a dog do that like that. This was Gary Willingham in August 2011, silly nine months boy. after going through a surgery that was supposed to help him get rid of cancer. He's not oh my God. Instead, the surgery left the 80-year-old Korean War veteran he suffering from stroke-like conditions. He could only move one arm and his head, communicating wow, he's getting difficult, into it. forcing him to write notes like this. Lesson learned. I need black coffee. Are you he done yet? The rest of his no. Life <laughs> going back around the other way? Um, defecating on himself, using a diaper every day for the next 370 some odd days. He lost his dignity every day.